Okay, ladies and gentlemen, gentlemen and ladies, ladies and gents. Um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn down the volume on my end because I'm not speaking very loud today. I was tired, ladies and gentlemen. I was, I was tired, I say. I mean, I was, I was real tired. And because I was tired, that means y'all's tired because y'all's tired of hearing me. And so we're going to talk about two things. The first thing we're going to do is we're going to talk about the IRS. Now, what you all don't realize is that in order for you to write off debt, pay attention, in order for you to write off debt, you must use the accrual method. Now, as I told all of you, when the IRS wants to take money out of your IRS returns, they use what's known as the offset program. If they use the offset program or TOP, the tax offset program, you have the right to use the same program. See, in advance, I knew that the IRS would play games with me. So what is the game the IRS is playing with me? The same as it does everyone else. When it wants to attack you, it says you owe them money. I don't owe them a dime. I haven't done any frivolous filings. But they are now saying that I have, and they are saying that I have $1,000 worth of interest with the frivolous filing. I don't know when they're talking about I've done frivolous filings because... The only thing I filed was a return, 2017, just a return. That's it. And it was a simple return. It wasn't a complicated return. They still haven't given out the so-called stimulus check. So I'll take care of them in due time because I have an arbitration award against them. Well, here's the thing about the arbitration award. As Look. I tried to tell all of you, you think that somebody's trying to make money with SAA and things like that, you have it all wrong. Once you have an arbitration award issued to you, and it's done after following the administrative process, the very same process the IRS claims they did with me. I never received anything from these idiots. But I can't say anything because, remember, that's what all these other companies are claiming, even though we have proof that we've notified them, okay? They'll claim that they never received it, never was part of it, so I can't claim that because that's the first excuse they bring up. So I say, okay, you say I owe you, fine, let's offset it. Y'all wanna play, I wanna play. And if they refuse to offset, then let's go to court because we're gonna offset and return me the rest of my funds. Since you have an offset program, I have my own offset program. Good for the goose, good for the gander. Man, I love them ganders. Hey, don't you like them geese? I said goose. I didn't say geese. Did you say geese? No, I said goose. Oh, so goose, gander. What's a goose and a gander? Well, one is, you see what I'm saying? One is female, one is male. And what's good for the goose is good for the gander. Well, the gander is the male. And so with the goose, she, after she lays the eggs, well, the gander, the male, go sit on them. Because if it's good for the goose to sit on the eggs, then the gander also has to go sit on the eggs. So what's good for the goose is good for the gander. Now you understand where that came from. Ladies and gentlemen, there are two things you need to know. And you're going to appreciate both of them. One, when you're doing the debt and you're going after these guys for doing the debt and you're doing your 1099Cs, just document it properly. That's what a Mara Legion is there for, to provide you the extra documentation, to have a third party document the debt for you, document the attempt to collect the debt because it is that organization's duty, job, and it's their method of operation. This is how they operate as an organization. All right, that's the first thing. Uh, yes, I know. Okay, there's one more thing. Let's show you this. I'm just, I just, want to let you guys know. No, I ain't going to show that to you. I was going to show that to you, but I decided I ain't going to show that to you. So there you go. I ain't going to show that to you. What we going to do? We're going to keep the water bubbling. Man, he's got some bubbly. Okay, so we're going to bubble, 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 bubbly the water. Okay? My grandfather used to bubble the water all the time. We ain't talking about that bubbling of water. Oh, I'm sorry. Ladies and gentlemen, there is something that you all need to know about this act. This act is your best friend. And if you don't recognize it as your best friend, then that means that you're lonely 
and you deserve to be lonely. Because I'm not lonely, because I have this as my third, fifth, sixth, seventh, and eighth best friend. Title four, title four of what? Title four of the, pay attention, the Trading with the Enemy Act. Section 401 of paragraph of Section 18 of the Federal Reserve Act is amended to read as follows. Pay attention. Upon deposit with the Treasury of the United States, any direct obligation, contractual obligation is what that means, of the United States or any note that is acquired by the Federal Reserve Bank is deposited as the Secretary of the Treasury has described. Well, gentlemen, how does the Secretary of the Treasury require you to make a deposit of a promissory note? Anybody? Anybody? Title 7, Section 508. Oh, excuse me. Title 7, CFR 1901.508. Title 7, CFR 1901.508 at II says the holder of the insured note will endorse it as follows, or the holder of the insured note will endorse the note as follows. Pay to the order of the United States of America without recourse. When you endorse your pit, attention, stat packers, when you endorse your security instrument, stat packers, you have a security. You can endorse your security properly. Follow the rules. How to endorse a security and deposit it. Shh. Follow the rules. Shh. Make sure there's a value in there. Shh. Make sure there's a value in there. And endorse it properly. And deposit it as the Treasury, pay attention, as prescribed by the Secretary of the Treasury. Now let me explain to you guys that endorsement is the one thing that you guys hadn't been told because I hadn't told you because I didn't want nobody jumping the gun. Let me prove to you that it has to be endorsed. And upon making this deposit, the Federal Reserve shall be entitled to receive from the Comptroller of the Currency circulating notes in blank, signed in blank, ladies and gentlemen, duly registered and countersigned. This is called a blank endorsement. They get to pay it to the order wherever they want it. They got rid of this in 1940, was it 45 or 1952? I, it, it was either of the two. It was when Truman decided that he was going to amend the act. I think it's 20, huh, I'm trying to think, is it 2075 presidential proclamation? See, I don't remember which one it is. It's the one that Truman did, okay? And he only did just put in Presidential Proclamation 2039, comma, Truman. And you'll see the act. That's where he got rid of the circulating notes. That's where Congress said no more circulating notes. In blank. In blank. Circulating notes still exist, but in blank does not exist. Okay? Circulating notes in blank no longer exist. Those notes are no longer endorsed in blank. Shh, don't tell nobody. Circulating notes are nothing but Federal Reserve notes, ladies and gentlemen. Circulating notes are nothing but Federal Reserve notes. And circulating notes is paid to the order of the bearer. Go back and look at it. All right. Ladies and gentlemen, all you have to do is understand that that's your out. Endorse your notes. And then follow the rules for depositing your notes. We'll talk more about this in a future because SACOM is getting ready to help those individuals who are pre-foreclosure. SACOM is getting ready to help those individuals who are pre-foreclosure. We will be filing a lawsuit and we will be allowing 10 people to come into the lawsuit because we'll be filing a QTAM lawsuit, but we'll be doing it differently. In the times past, people who filed QTAM lawsuits have had them shot down and knocked out and everything. The courts keep coming up with all this stupid stuff. We're going to be doing our QTAM differently, okay? Much, much, much differently than in times past. You'll see. All right, ladies and gentlemen, gentlemen, ladies and gents, I have to let you go. 
because I'm still doing all kinds of stuff in the background and bringing it to you all's attention. So right now, just wanted to bring it to your attention about the endorsement.